as single pilots in general aviation, things can get out of hand fast and you wish you had that first officer or second in command that many 121, 135 schools. Well, we're going to talk about a new solution for general aviation in the hangar. Hey everyone, we are here at the Flying Eyes booth, Air Venture, for this special episode of In the Hangar. I'm Dan Milliken. And I'm Christy Wong. Today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor, Flying Eyes Optics. We're here at their booth, we're wearing their sunglasses. Well, we always wear their sunglasses, and you can get 10% off if you use the discount code, taking off all caps, one word, whether you come here at the booth or online at flyingeyesoptics.com. And our other sponsor, Colton Mortgage. You can find them at coltontakingoff.com as well as Marshall Protective Services. Okay, Christy, have you ever been in IMC and a uh, single pilot in, in your Wong Warrior and wish you had another pilot? No. No? Well, okay, so I've been in IMC in the Warrior, but only after I was an expertly trained instrument pilot. Well, I know, but still things, you're on an approach, you're given a, um, a back course localizer, you're programming that, you're talking to the, I mean, it's, you need somebody. Do you? I do sometimes. I'm not, okay. I guess I'm not a super pilot like you, but we have a solution for my issue which will now be totally irrelevant for you, but because <laughs> you can do it all. No, we're just having fun. And uh, I want to thank you for coming. First off, introduce yourself and what you guys do. Uh, thanks for having me. So I'm Mirko. I come from Germany. I studied aircraft engineering, did the pilot's training over there, then came to the States, got my FAA license, and um, I, just, I just love airplanes. And it's just as easy <laughs> as that. Um, but yeah, and then... So what we do is we're just trying to keep like the two of us safe in the air. Um, we're just trying to help out pilots being there, making their life easier on the day-to-day -day operations and on their day-to-day -day flights, whether it's going for a business trip with their own Cessna or whatever they have, or just flying with a family. And um, we just want to assist and we hope nothing goes wrong. But in case you're in something over your head, flying VFR and IMC or you're just in a situation where you just need someone to talk to and you just need someone to have the procedure you just re need right now, have it ready to hand, that's what we do. So we have a digital co-pilot that flies with you, that you can talk to and that got your back when you need it most. So it's like Alexa, climb to flight level 180. <laughs> well, that would be more autopilot. Would it? Well, so, okay. so explain yeah, what this is. Yeah, exactly. So it is not an autopilot, it's a co-pilot. So it's like it's like the pilot monitoring, the pilot not flying. And But yeah, it is kind of a Siri or Alexa as it's just a voice assistant. So you just talk to it. You, you ask it for the nearest airport. You ask it for a frequency. And Goose, we call them Goose. We goose. believe we believe every pilot. So like, talk to me, Goose. Needs a exactly. Talk to me, Goose. Exactly. I don't know how I feel about that because, <laughs> because we all know what happens to Goose. Yeah, but so if we think about that, the second uh, Maverick flew without Goose, he grabbed the dog tag and he got into a panic and he was like, "Talk to me, Goose." And there was a moment everything changed. So we believe, okay. as a pilot, you need to talk to Goose. And as soon as you do, everything changes for <laughs> the better. That's awesome. Okay, I can I can handle that. All right. So, so. you mentioned a couple of things like, uh, give me the goose, give me the nearest airport, goose, give me this frequency. What else can goose give you? Uh, goose can give you pretty much every information there is, and in in modern aviation, there is a lot of information. So we can go through checklists, briefings. Um, so I could say, goose, uh, do the uh, run up checklist. Yeah, absolutely. And Goose I mean, is going to run it through for me, and I'm going exactly. to respond. Yes, sir. Challenge response. Absolutely. You tick off the boxes. You say, yes, I haven't. Or you notice, oh, I haven't yet. I'm going to do it now. Um, the run-up check is usually pretty easy because you're still on the ground. Things are still pretty easy. But imagining being on final approach, an aircraft you might not be used to, flying an aircraft you maybe don't even fly that often and you want to have the final checklist and you just say goose start final checklist and goose will will stop are these uh digital co-pilots are they faa approved um not yet so okay. at the moment oh, it's just okay. a portable system so you can bring it as your portable personal electronic device okay. um we're working together with the german aerospace center 
in order to um, develop a hardwired kind of a docking station, which is approved by the EASA and then comes with the EASA Form 1, which is recognized by the FAA. Interesting. Wow. Um, how did you decide to even, how did this idea hit you? Um, it came to me actually in, in the United States. I was flying in Santa Paula where I got my, my pilot certificate from the FAA. And um, I figured I just, need, I just need a system that helps me with the airspace structure and that just gives me a warning when I'm about to enter an airspace which I'm not cleared for or where I'm about to violate an airspace. And um, so that was what I did. So kind of the geek in me sat down and um, started soldering and programming and then a couple of flight instructors came over i think they were a little bit worried they were like oh hey what you doing with a soldering iron in an aircraft <laughs> somebody with an accent for an accent yes sir without a license at that time without a license <laughs> with uh, soldering fine electronics yes sir okay yeah there were some warning signs there yeah yeah um th we went for a flight and they've been like they've been stoked they loved it they're like is that your startup and i was like yeah yeah you know what it is and so that is, that's how it all started. Awesome. Just back in 20, 2019, yeah. 20, so is it available right now in the market? Uh, not yet. We are here in Oshkosh accepting pre-orders for the beta version because we really, really want to get the general aviation industry involved in the development and especially in the testing process. And the versions will be shipped uh, November, December this year. So whoever pre-orders now has a goose under the Christmas tree. <laughs> All right. That's a goose under the Christmas tree. Christmas so. goose. Yes, absolutely. All right. That's awesome. Okay, and if people want to um, pre-order, where would they go? They would come visit us in Hangar C, booth 3020. And if they're not at AirVenture? Uh, they just go to our website. It's just aerosys.io. And um, they just, just fill out the form. Okay. Well, I'm interested to meet Goose. I would. I, I could see. I could see a usefulness for that for me. So um, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for for coming on the show today. You're very very welcome. Thanks for having me. And yeah, just uh, pop by our booth and have a chat with Goose. Just just talk yeah, to him. Yeah, you got okay. it. I'm gonna do that. We gotta do that. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, you know, as always, please visit our sponsors. They're pilots. They're good guys. We've got Flying Eyes at FlyingEyesOptics.com. We've got Colton Mortgage at Colton Taking Off and Marshall Protective Service MPS Protects. So, Christy, let's wrap it up. All right, well, thank you everybody for supporting our channel. We couldn't do this without our sponsors, but we couldn't do this without you. Uh, we'll see you next time. In the hangar. <laughs>